Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we have some very surprising news for Armor Reforger. Today is the release of Update 0.9.7, also known as Ground Support. This is adding a whole range of new content, including a new map, new weapons, and a new game mode. So without any further delay, let's just jump straight into this. So to start, let's start about the biggest and probably the most important feature in this update, the new map known as Arland. The new map is only 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers large, making it much smaller than Evron, but there seems to be a pretty diverse amount of combat terrain in spite of that. There are two small villages, a military base-airfield, and a large overlooking ridge with a communication center at the top. The military base is definitely the most interesting of these considering it has an underground bunker as showcased in the trailer, but overall this map seems to be a very detailed and more compact version of the armor experience. On a similar note, it's clear that this map was made to be accompanied by the new game mode known as Combat Ops. This is a game mode where there are three objectives that you will need to complete either as a solo or with a squad of up to six people against pre-spawned AI soldiers. This offers a much more intuitive and officially hosted co-op experience which seems like it will be a lot of fun. The new map's small size makes it work well for what it is, and the objectives are small tasks like secure intel, blow up some vehicles, or clear an area of some enemies. Next, let's talk about the new gun. For the FIA faction, this is going to be the VZ-58P, which will now come in two variants, these being the SA-58V and the SA-58P, which now stand in as the standard issue rifles for the FIA. To me, this feels much more fitting as it was a bit off to have them using the same equipment as the Russians, as they were before. And it's nice to finally get our hands on the classic VZ-58P in this game. And now, in the realm of attachments, we have the iconic 4x20 carry handle scope for the M16. It's been in the game as an official created mod for quite some time now, but it's nice to have it being added to official, you know, vanilla gameplay. This addition also nicely adds to the weapon inspect system and is the first solid step towards attachments being actually important for gameplay. Moving from gunplay, we can turn to vehicles, specifically driving and handling of these vehicles. To begin, driving in general is far more smooth and easy now. Everything from turning, acceleration, and starting the car is far more reliable and far more enjoyable. However, for players who wish to bring the handling of their cars to another level, the game now supports such decisions, with advanced controls for cars that can let one pull off stunts and show off their skills on a level previously not possible. On top of all of that, there's now new HUD icons for different lights in the car, allowing one to be more sure of exactly what's going on with their driving. Next up, a huge change for players who just wish to play with friends. With the addition of in-game session hosting, a player can now host multiplayer sessions from a local machine allowing players to host and play together without any special servers. Configuration of this can be done by players, and to me, it's the largest news in the entire update, as players can now host their own games free of charge from their devices and play with their friends as they want without spending outrageous amounts of money. So now that we've touched on all the major additions, let's talk about gameplay changes. In game, they've overhauled the way damage and healing works with there being new and approved hitboxes for our characters, and new damage profiles for each gun. All of these will still be covered by the bandage, but in general, it feels like they've improved both the damage consistency and the UI elements that tell you where you're hurt and how badly. There are also some other less major changes. For example, weight received a change where each cartridge in a magazine now has its own weight. Our Xbox has received a performance enhancement which should allow for a more stable performance. Voting has been made easier as now players can instantly cast a vote with a click of one button when one is prompted, as well as vote kicking only being possible for players on your team, so no more enemy team vote kicking you. And aside from that, there are other various quality of life improvements that have made the game feel far more smooth and well made in general. So with all these features, it is a really solid update overall and I'm really happy to see it, but it's a far cry from what was originally promised in the ground support release. In particular, there is no AI driving mechanics or command and control AI movement, and as a result, the AI still remains one of the bigger shortcomings in the game. In response to the mission features though, the devs opened a post for ground support with the following statement. Ground support, originally intended to be a single, massive update, has been redefined as a series of smaller ones that are going to be released over the upcoming months. Our goals regarding the content and features of Armor Reforger remain unchanged. Our focus instead has shifted to bring you smaller updates containing fixes, stability features, and a variety of improvements more frequently with a priority on quality and stability. It's nice to see that there's going to be more content to work with for now, and that there most likely will be more coming in the upcoming months and weeks. But we'll have to see just what comes, what form it takes, how well it's optimized, when it comes, and I don't know. 
Personally, I'm pretty excited about this stuff. I think this update is great, and I've been enjoying the little bit of it I've played so far. But that is really all I've got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed my coverage of the new update, and hopefully enjoy the new update itself. But until next time, this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see you all, well, next time.